Hello, thanks for joining me and welcome to this edition of Ancient Wisdom from Hawk Spirit with me, Ruth Ann Richards. I'm the creator of the Intuition Connection. I'm an intuitive. I'm an author of Reclaim Your Intuition. And I believe that when more of us are connected to our intuition, we feel more empowered, life gets easier. And I would love more of us, especially women, to feel that way. I'm an oracle reader. I love personal messages from the universe and the other world lay through oracles. But very recently, I've also been guided through a spirit guide called the Hawk to share ancient wisdom. Um, I have to write it by hand. It's channeled to me directly and then I type up the notes. So what you're going to hear in the next part of this vlog um, is me writing my notes to make sure I get the message across as it was given to me. And this one is about unconscious manifesting. It's why things get created in our life that we don't understand because we're unconsciously aware of what we're doing. I hope you enjoy it. You may be aware of the term unconscious bias, a phrase used to describe and explain the conditioned responses we have about the world, which creates a bias that we are not consciously aware of. The conditioning comes from the unconscious bias of parents and caregivers, what we are exposed to during our upbringing, what we learn at school and even where we live. People growing up in a wealthy, affluent neighbourhood will have very different unconscious bias to those growing up in an inner city environment. Biases are as a result of conditioning and the stereotypes that we believe in or have some evidence of in our own life. The phrase unconscious bias is used to make humans more aware that there is conditioning that leads to preferences and in some cases hatred that results in behaviour or attitudes that are deemed unacceptable in today's society, particularly in relation to women, race, ethnicity and disability. No, these attitudes have always been unacceptable but were rarely challenged in previous times. Unconscious manifesting works in the same way as unconscious bias. We unconsciously manifest based on conditioning, what we learn in education, how we are raised, and most important of all, what we take in from the culture and society around us, particularly from all forms of media, including advertising and social media. This channeling focuses on the unconscious manifesting from media that includes social media. It would take a superhuman effort to recognise all unconscious bias and unconscious manifesting within ourselves, But we can start to understand more about what we are unconsciously manifesting by consciously paying attention to and even auditing the media we consume on a daily basis. Things such as dramas and documentaries, advertisements, images on social media, news programming and news content, blogs, vlogs, podcasts, and any stories being reported as news, but really, they're gossip. It's important to break the cycles of unconscious manifesting in order to live a fulfilling and purposeful life, a life that we want and a life of happiness. Living an intuitive life is the key to living well with happiness, fulfilment and abundance. Intuition is the antidote to unconscious manifesting. One of the key principles of manifesting, whether conscious or unconscious, is focus. There is your individual focus and there is a collective focus. Regardless of conscious or unconscious manifesting, what you focus on most individually is what manifests for you. When lots of individuals consciously or unconsciously focus on the same thing, then it becomes a collective manifestation. Here are some real world examples. The election of political leaders. During the period 2017 to 2019, unlikely political leaders were elected to the highest office of government in the Western world. Some people and organisations found this incredulous. The reason these situations happened is because of the focus given to the individuals in each situation. Although there is the earthly framework of elections and voting, you may think it was just a case that more people voted 
for that individual or party. But in one Western country, there was no electoral vote. That's the earthly view. In the quantum and spiritual realm that runs alongside the earthly realm, something different was happening to create that outcome. When people who do not support a political candidate, party or cause, but still talk about it, give attention and pay attention to a candidate, party or cause they do not support, they are creating an energy, a vibrational frequency about that candidate. They are helping to unconsciously manifest, create what they do not want to happen. The quantum or spiritual realm, and you can replace field if realm doesn't feel right for you, connects all these frequencies together, whether it is one of support or non-support. A tidal wave of frequency becomes an energy field for that candidate because the majority of focus on that candidate, whether positive or negative, the focus on that candidate and that individual becomes a manifestation that they are elected. The quantum or spiritual field only acknowledges where the focus and tensions attention is given, regardless of whether the attention is positive or negative. So those individuals given the negative attention are creating the same quantum or spiritual energy as those with the positive attention and focus. Thereby, those given the negative attention and focus have played the part of unconsciously manifesting what they do not want. This happens in so many layers on the earthly realm. It happens at an individual level, where individual people have conversations with one another. It happens in organisations with larger groups of people talking about a person or a situation. Then there is the media. News programmes, current affairs, even comedy and satirical programmes, giving focus, even if poking fun or making fun at a situation or person. Add on to that social media and you can start to see the amount of focus and attention given to a situational person creating more unconscious manifesting. As previously stated, the quantum or spiritual field sees only this level of attention which creates the energy needed to make something manifest and it becomes real in the earthly realm. You may have worked out the spiritual lesson here already. Focus and pay attention to what you want, not what you don't want. A further earthly world example comes from advertisements and programmes that quote data or statistics. Any data or statistics truly have a short shelf life. They are only valid for the one specific point in time and are immediately invalid after that point. You can often see these in advertisements for cosmetics or hair products. From a sample number, X number agreed it made skin or hair shinier or smoother, etc. That data was only valid for that one point in time when it was collated and only valid for that one sample group. By the time the advert is made, the data is no longer valid. But that data is out there in the ether to influence people to buy the product. Advertising, marketing, influencing are all ways that contribute to and create unconscious manifesting. The manifestation being to buy a product. Remember, when you buy anything, a product or a service, you are unlikely and are hardly ever buying it because of the type of product or service it is, but because of how you think and expect it will make you feel. Some of the most challenging pieces of advertising come from charities who create ads for fundraising. As humans, we have become more used to fundraising campaigns and techniques over recent times, and we have become immune and resistant to methods that once would have pulled on the heartstrings. But now humans are subject to data about the statistics of how many humans will have certain illnesses and disease during their lifetime. Images of people receiving treatment, crying at a diagnosis, showing them with their devastated family. More and more such ads and campaigns are taking humans into their world to shock us, to make us feel more compassionate and to give money because one day this could be you. Whilst there's absolutely a human and earthly comprehension why they do this, 
Such campaigns have the unintended consequences of creating unconscious manifesting. All such advertisements and campaigns are unconsciously manifesting more and more people becoming ill with an illness or disease. Humans consciously and unconsciously take this on board, consciously and unconsciously think this could be me and give this a high level of focus and attention, thereby potentially unconsciously manifesting illnesses and disease of themselves because they think it could be them. But please note, this stop does not mean anyone is deliberately making themselves ill. Of course not. It does not mean that charities want more people to be ill. Of course not. The point of this guidance and ancient wisdom is to make us aware of what media, advertising, marketing, news and other information we can be taking in that can be consciously and unconsciously manifesting within us. There is so much for humans to take in every day. So for the conscious and conscious and subconscious to process, it is near impossible for humans to avoid unconscious manifesting. You are not to blame. Do not blame, judge or berate yourself. The purpose of this guidance is awareness. To become aware of how all these unconscious things around us stick to us without us even realising it and to become aware of how unconscious manifesting happens, the conditions for it to thrive and all of that contributes to creating it. Becoming aware of this has already made you more enlightened. If that awareness and enlightenment resonates with you and has given you a feeling that you want to detach from unconscious manifesting and create a life focus for more conscious manifesting, here is the ancient wisdom guidance. There are five keys in this ancient wisdom guidance to help us detach from unconscious manifesting. Remember, one, you choose what you consume. That means food plus all that you take in visually, what you hear, all your senses. Turn off, switch off or mute that which you deem contributes towards unconscious manifesting. You choose what you take in. Two, you were born with courage. Have the courage to think, feel and know from your heart, that special place within you that truly knows your desires and what you need. Three, consume and hold only what you need. This wisdom is about buying, owning, using, eating and keeping only what you need. This is very hard for most of us humans as we buy, consume, collect and keep what we want, which can be far more than what we need. To reset the balance, you know where this is going right, you can donate goods to charity, declutter, truly make your environment, those places you spend the most time in, let them have only what you need. Spending time with your objects and materials and ask, what do you need this for? This question then allows you to keep what you need and love. Ruth, need books. Ruth needs books for learning because she has a deep desire and needs to learn. It makes her feel that she's always growing. Growing and learning are important needs for Ruth. See how this question, what do I need this for, creates a feeling within you. That feeling answers the question for you. Number four, live with spiritual coherence. This coherence is the alignment, the agreement of the heart, body, mind and soul. When these elements all align, then humans experience empowerment. There is no doubt, no second guessing, no imposter, only the pureness of humans' own desires and the trust of the spiritual quantum or universal realm, the otherworldly, that you will always have what you need when you need it. And number five, the complete antidote to unconscious manifesting is to reclaim your intuition. Connecting to and reclaiming your intuition is the way to move into coherence and to consciously manifest. Intuitively manifesting is so much more conscious manifesting. It is enlightened and elevated because it becomes co-creating. Co-creating is when humans finally understand and gain the enlightenment 
that any manifesting is done in conjunction with the otherworldly, the universe, spirit, quantum realm, whatever you choose to call it. And it becomes a beautiful, meaningful co-creation. Thank you for watching this vlog on Unconscious Manifesting um, with Ancient Wisdom. I hope it has triggered something for you that thinks that you can do something different to more consciously manifest the life that you want and the life that you desire. And if you want some help to do that, you can check out my intuitive mentoring, my intuition circle, or even have an oracle reading with me. And information about those is included around this video somewhere. But whatever you do, focus on what it is that you want to see in the world. And that will take you a step further to having the life that you truly desire. Take care and see you next time for more Ancient Wisdom. Bye.